This is a very important video. I'm asking everyone that reviews this video to share it and send it out as soon as possible. We are going to cover a lot of information in this video. We are also going to look at images that are occurring around the sun. They are objects. There are images of objects and I'm going to take you throughout the solar system so you can understand what I'm presenting to you. These objects that are appearing around the sun is not what most people think. They are not a planet for one thing because a planet when the sun reflects its light upon a planet it will show the compositions of the gases such as Jupiter as well as Saturn and other planets throughout the solar system. I have two telescopes and I can see the rings of Saturn millions of miles away. But these objects that are appearing around the sun does not have organic material. And I will show you the images very shortly. I'm giving you a perspective so you can understand the objects that are appearing around the sun. They are not planets. Okay? It's very simple. If you study a baseline study, which is approximately eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, for four weeks you can have a understanding baseline study of astrophysics. It's very complex, but they have many programs to do the mathematic formulas to prove astrophysics is about 90% correct mathematically. These objects that are appearing around the sun, they are here. They are advanced civilizations that are here to monitor the composition of our sun because it's going through a change. We're about to leave the grand solar minimum and go into the grand solar maximum. That happens approximately 11.8 years. And now we're about to go through a change in which the sun is about to flip. That's right. It's natural. The sun makes the adjustment every 11.5 to 11.8 years. That's when it rotates. That's right. Sounds bizarre, right? But it happens. And that produces the timelines that leaves Grand Solar Minimum to the Grand Solar Maximum. And we are having record-breaking CMEs. As you all know, the channel warned everyone what is about to occur with these CMEs. A X Class 5 and above will happen between July and August. We're starting to see it now. I am connected with astronomer. I'm also connected with scientists, geologists, military, and FEMA. And the events that are about to take place, I told everyone over a year in advance, six months in advance, four months in advance. And many people have asked me, do I know Mike from around the world? No, I do not. I respect him. And so far, Mike has been 100% correct, whether you believe or not. I'm going to take you on a journey. And I want you to fasten your seatbelt. Okay? So here we go. We're in this spacecraft right here. That's right, me and you. And I'm going to take you through the solar system to many different planets. This is Jupiter. 
Do you see Jupiter? Okay, I do because the Sun is reflecting light on Jupiter because it, the composition is organic material and of course Jupiter as well as Saturn as well as other planets will show the composition now this is the king planet okay Jupiter as you can see the Sun reflects the light and it shows the material as well as the different type of gas that is on Jupiter so we're going to go to another planet okay this is the spacecraft that I'm on now we're going to Saturn and as you can see the rings of Saturn and Saturn's moon is reflected by the light from our Sun right I mean you can go millions and millions and billions of miles and I can't do it but you can reflect through a telescope that will give you the images of Uranus okay I don't have that type of telescope so let's go somewhere else shall we now this is important before we get to the images okay this is Mars as you can see the scars on Mars and a lot of people don't understand there's over 200,000 people on Mars they are there examining the artifacts of the Anunnaki they are terraforming the planet they have many different ways to grow food as well as oxygen water that's right it has water but it has a lot of minerals and it has to go through a filtration system to, to remove the minerals from the water and the reason I know all of this is because I'm connected okay, from a very reliable source and there is over 250,000 people on Mars whether you believe it or not and of course this is our moon the Sun reflects light on the moon and there's times that the moon does moon dances what do I mean by that moon dance it shifts from time to time dealing with the winter solstice and different parts of the seasons summer fall winter spring and that's why the Sun reflects its light on different orientations of the moon the moon likes to dance and it is really fascinating because we just had a blood moon and we just had a lunar eclipse recently and a lot of people are not familiar but a blood moon is a warning to Israel a solar eclipse is a warning to the world it's a metaphor whether you believe it or not a lot of scientists and astronomers just say it's just another lunar eclipse or solar eclipse so now I'm going to take you somewhere I'm going to take you to a page which a lot of people are familiar and a lot of these channels do not specialize in this particular subject but they're getting the information out there that something is happening right yes it is something is happening okay so let's continue with this video shall we so here we go this is mr. MBB 333 and he just put up a video dealing with a rogue planet okay and mr. MBB has appeared on Paul Begley should I say the audio on Paul Begley's channel 
and he has almost a half a million subscribers. He's also made the appearance on Ancient Aliens because he's given out the information about what's taking place with these spacecraft that's appearing around the world. And as some of you may not be aware, after September 23rd, 2017, we had a 500% increase in extraterrestrial objects, spacecraft, throughout our planet. Mr. MBB, he does a, should I say, an excellent job doing photo, analyzing, as well as videos. And he has the programs to show the analyzing and change the images through different filters and he does a lot of interesting videos like the one at the top about the 2,000 feet Antarctic ice space and it received <laughs> wow a lot of views but Mr. MVB 333 Michael I believe he lives in Arizona and regardless if some people agree with him or not you can't take away his professional attitude and how he presents these videos and he does an excellent job actually because he puts so much information in a short time frame and he keeps up with Yellowstone and the human residents and solar flares and these objects that are appearing around the world which are spacecraft most of them are triangle and Michael does an excellent job regardless how you look at it he does and now he's starting to get the recognition and he's going to show up on the history channel I believe he already has they're probably going to bring him back on ancient aliens now ancient aliens I've been keeping up with ancient aliens since 2011 and I don't agree with you know all of it because sometimes I feel like they're grasping for straws and they take something that's actually nothing and make something out of it but that's you know the history channel but Michael here's here's his latest about the road planet Okay. And then a shock wave. In planetary system, shock wave is what he's calling it. In effect, the Congo. But here's another one. Okay. So, if you want to keep up with this, I'll recommend Mr. MBB333. And he does a lot of excellent videos. And um, he's getting the recognition. So now we're going to look at some of his images and some of his work. And I'm going to explain something to you. This was captured in May the 11th of 2021. As you can see, it is a perfect sphere. But do you see the planet? No, you do not. There it is again. And these objects are appearing around the sun because of the solar flares. They know what is about to take place and they're monitoring the sun to receive the composition of what's happening with our sun. Now here's a better image. Now this is from Mr. MBB333. But as you can see, it is a sphere form object and a circumference. But do you see any organic material? Do you see any light? No, you do not. You do not see any, do you? These are advanced civilizations that are here monitoring the sun because the CMEs that are taking place from the corona mass ejections. And they're about to hit Earth. So that's why they're here. If this was a planetary system, it would produce havoc upon our sun. Okay? 
and I did a video where it showed these objects pulling plasma from the sun and go back and watch the video and look for it but they are refueling there's giant spacecraft that's over a hundred times the diameter of planet earth and when it was first spotted by the soho satellite back in 2012 many people were shocked i was ufologists were shocked okay if you don't know what a ufologist is a ufologist studies ufology i'm a ufologist okay now in this image you can see it moving very quickly did you see that okay there's the solar flare i'm going to show you again there it is did you see how fast it was pulling away Now you have a brief summary of what these objects are. Whether you believe it or not, these are highly advanced civilizations that are watching our sun, the star. And if it was a planet, it would produce light reflection upon it to show the organic material, as you can see here. You will not see organic material because these images captured the advanced civilization spacecraft. They know the planetary system is coming. Okay, they know that. They know that we're about to go through a magnetic reversal. They know that. They know that it's eight point. 5 billion people on this planet. It's not 7.5 because it's approximately a billion people that's unaccounted for. But there it is again. So they are here to witness these events. Now they cannot interfere from what I understand. They released information to the federal government and stated that we cannot interfere with the development of a civilization that is undergoing changes okay they are not going to interfere unless this civilization is about to destroy the planet that's what they told the federal government and their contactees that was the images from may the 26th 2021 as you can see here okay now I'm going to take you to the images that I've received from a very reliable source. This is an infrared image. And if you don't know anything about the planetary system, I'm going to explain. You cannot see it with a telescope. It's coming in at a 30 degree elliptical orbit. Okay. And that image right there shows that it's moving. And in the background is the red iron oxide rocks. Let me explain something. All of these rocks that are coming in, like the Apollo's 30% increase this year, but also what happened last year in March, that was not what you think. It hit Africa. And they are starting to come in now and it is pushing debris in front of it as well. The debris field is 300,000 miles wide, 1.5 to 2 million miles long. And we will go through the tail of it every five to seven months after it orbits around the sun. And a lot of people are not aware it is not a planet. It is a binary star system. It has three planets and four moons. And one of the planets is similar to planet Earth, slightly smaller, and has the same, almost the same, composition of oxygen. So, what I'm trying to tell you or show you that planet X 
is not what you think. Planet X is a term that NASA uses to describe that they are searching for an unknown planet. Planet X, the X factor, Roman numeral 10. So people that are into this subject took that name and applied it to the 10th planet. Okay. And if you study or are aware of the Sumerian tablets, I've studied it for four years. I only believe 80% of the Sumerian tablets. Why? Because 20% cannot be translated properly. So you can't use those 20% of the Sumerian tablets because it can take you anywhere like the backside of the moon because Santa Claus and Mrs. Santa Claus is over there making little bitty toys for Christmas next year because they evacuated planet Earth because the civilization, the nutcases, 13 families, well, you know, they released a bioweapon upon the planet and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus is on the back side of the moon. Okay, you get my point, right? So that's why I don't go there. It deals with the Anunnaki that supposedly is on the planet Nebiru. Nebiru is one of three planets that is orbiting around the binary star. It has four moons. If it's true that the Anunnaki came here, I believe they did. And I'm not going to get into it. I did a presentation in Colorado called Deep Truth, Deep Impact, and it's approximately three hours long. It deals with the Anunnaki supposedly came here. They set up a weight station on Mars, and that's why the government, one of the reasons why they are on Mars, studying the artifacts from the Anunnaki, whether you believe it or not. So, people ask me, you know, when's it coming? It comes in every 3,657 years. I received that information from a very reliable source back in 2015, before September 23rd, 2017 took place. Okay, I did not backtrack the numbers. We are currently at 3,653.9 years. It changes in September. Oh, there's that name again. Interesting. Okay. So, it's going to be here by 2023, 2024. And I received information that the Blue Kachina will appear sometime in November and December of 2022. Also, the information I received by midsummer maybe sooner we will see a red object in the southern part the southern hemisphere I do not believe it will be visible in the northern hemisphere and according to the Hopi prophecy of the great purification which deals with a magnetic reversal process that its brother the great destroyer will soon appear after that so this is the debris field, part of it, red iron oxide. And if you don't know what red iron oxide rocks will do, I'm going to explain it to you. When the red iron oxide enters the Earth's atmosphere and impacts the oceans, water, rivers, it produces sulfur, okay, that's one. Arsenic, poisoning, that's two. Now think, in the Bible, it's stated in the book of Revelations that the water will become bitter from wormwood. This is named wormwood in the book of Revelation. This planetary system has approximately 12 different names. Okay, Sulfur will produce arsenic poisoning as well 
listen, it states in the Bible that men will die from the waters. You can't drink water from the ocean. That's not what the Bible was talking about. It was talking about water from fresh water from a lake or river. And when they drank the water, they would die. And then if you look at the biblical perspective of all of this, it also stated a third of the stars will fall to earth, right? That's the planetary system. They didn't have terms asteroids or meteors thousands of years ago, okay? A third of the stars will fall to earth from the heavens. Now, if you look at this image, it captures the planetary system that is producing light. The reason you can't see it and you have to have an infrared telescope is because it's in the infrared range. Okay. And you remember what happened on September 23rd, 2017. A lot of researchers went to Goofy, I mean Google, Skyview. And they forgot to move the image over that was blocking it in the infrared range. And people captured that image. And the very same day, they moved the image over to block it out again. They was not paying attention because they're goofy. Okay. I don't mean to be sarcastic. I'm doing the best I can to be professional. Presenting you this message but there you have it it's coming it is not here the sky is not falling and we are not going to have three days of darkness now okay it's coming and I will go over it in just a minute with a diagram that I put together to explain why One of the reasons, the book of Revelation is approximately 70% completed with the prophecies. Dealing with the planetary system, the mark of the beast, you know, one world government, and of course, the two witnesses, they are here, I was told they are here, and the third temple was already built two years ago, and it's underground, and it's private. Only certain elite can go there. And they finally, it took them two years for the perfect red heifer calf. Red heifer calf. And now they are cloning the calf and they're doing their sacrifices every week now. So, a lot is not fulfilled yet. The planetary system is not here yet. And according to the book of Revelations, every mountain and island will be moved off its foundation. That deals with magnetic reversal process. Crust displacement. And if you are not familiar, go back through the channel and watch the videos dealing with the magnetic reversal process. So you will understand what's taking place in California with pre-crust displacement and the 500% increase in earthquakes that happened right after September 23rd, 2017. Now, this is a zoom. I zoomed in as much as possible. And this is a digital format, as you can see. Okay, it's digital images. And that's the Bob Mary story, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. The red that appears is the debris field. Now, in this images, you can see the top and the bottom of the debris field that produces what is called a winged planet. The dragon. Let me explain. The Chinese witnessed this 10,000 years ago, back in the day of Atlantis, because it came in as a red object, circumference, 
and on both sides, left and right, it showed the wings. That's the debris field. And that's where they came up with the term, the dragon. Okay. If you don't believe me, do your own research in the independent alternative field. As a researcher, we call it go fishing, go fish. I already done it. Okay. The great destroyer, planet of the crossing. Okay. There are so many names on this subject because it's been seen for thousands of years. This is an excellent image here. And I know my, my brother that sent this sent these images, he's watching this video. And brother, I want to say thank you for these images that are very critical. And I hope it will go out throughout the world that we have up-to-date images for the first time in years. These images are very difficult to come by. And I am very grateful to him that he contacted me and sent me these images. Look at that debris field. 300,000 miles wide, 1.5 to 2 million mile long tail. We're going to go through this tail, but I'm not going to be here when it happens because Wormwood deals with the final ending of the book of Revelations as well as the magnetic reversal when it stated every mountain and island will be moved off its foundation. Go back and read it. Okay. A third of the stars will fall to earth. And we will go through that debris field every five to seven months. But I will not be here because Christ will return very shortly. And receive those that belong to him that's been paid for through the blood of Jesus Christ. I have my ticket. And I'm sure you have your ticket too. And if you don't, you can contact me through my email. And I will give you the steps of salvation of your soul. Now, there's the images. Now, I'm going to take you somewhere else to explain the timelines that all of this is going to occur and what's going to happen. 10,000 years ago, the day of Atlantis, the planet Earth crossed the path of the planetary system 10,000 years ago. I've done my research on Atlantis and I've received information from a very reliable source that is a scientist for the federal government. Okay. And he stated, when I asked him, is Atlantis real or is it a fairy tale? He said, nope, it's real. And the United States federal government knows its location, but I am not permitted to talk with you over this phone. Now, if you take the years and divide it in three, it comes out to 3,600 years. Okay. And the planet crosses or planet earth crosses the orbit of the planetary system and we was bombarded by that debris field 10,000 years ago so at that time planet earth was within 10 to 20 degrees of the planetary system as I show you here in the illustration now, I'm going to explain the different timelines that all of this took in place. And people don't understand, there's three types of magnetic reversals dealing with degrees and how close we are to the planetary system. I was one of the first to put the timelines together. The day of Noah, 7,300 years ago. The 
planetary system. Okay. Comes in every 3,657 years. We are at 3,653.5. September will be 3,654. Do the math. 2024. Is that a coincidence? No. It's not a coincidence. I did a lot of research dealing with Noah and its timeline and it came in 7,000 years ago at 90 degrees and the scientists told me that they cannot prove that the earth stopped rotating for three days producing three days of darkness and if you can find that information please email me. He stated that the planet at 90 degrees from the day of Noah went into what is called vocalism and if you don't know what that is it consists of earthquakes volcanic activity as well as crust displacement the crust collapsed on the water tables on land and under the ocean and it produced so much water on the oceans that it went into desolization and went into a rapid climate change. The continents, some of them slipped through crust displacement, but not like Atlantis. The day of Moses, the earth stopped rotating. We know that through history. In China, the Chinese recorded that the sun came up and it went back down for three days, producing three days of darkness. In the Middle East, the sun went down and came back up, producing three days of sunlight. And during that time, it was given to them so they could fight a certain battle so they can exit out of Egypt. So, are we going to be at the day of Moses? No, we are not when the planetary system comes. If you look at the planetary system, it came in at 180 degrees. Okay, the sun is in the center. Right? The day of Atlantis. Right? 10,900 years. 90 degrees, the day of Noah. What happened with Atlantis? Vocalism took place, volcanic activity earthquakes, the earth's crust collapsed on the water table, producing water, flooding, and it went through crust displacement. They estimated that the plates shifted between three and four thousand miles. That's not going to happen this time, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to explain to you why. It's not going to happen. Basically, it doesn't make sense that from 180 degrees from the day of Moses that we're going to skip the day of Noah and go back to the day of Atlantis. No, we are not. We are not. Do you remember what Christ said in the Bible? The last days will be like the day of Noah, right? What did he mean by that? Did he mean that people would be getting married, they would continue their lives, and everything will be just fine, and then it happens? I believe so. But I also believe that Yahshua was telling us on a different perspective. What I mean by that, we are going to be at 90 degrees, like the day of Noah, 7,314 years, 90 degrees, estimated 2023 to 2024. The day of Moses, no, we're not going to be there. And the planetary system is not going to be 180 degrees from planet Earth. And where does the three days of darkness come from? Well, I'm going to show you that 
as well. So if you look at all of these different timelines, these are very critical. And I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours researching and came up with, wow, every 3,600 years, the day of Moses, 3,600 years, the day of Noah, 3,600 years, Atlantis. And if you add all of that up, it's approximately 10,971 years. So the planetary system dealing with the magnetic reversal process is connected to the planetary system, whether you like it or not. Okay. Listen to me. The magnetic reversal process does not happen every million years. I read one article when I first got into it. I have a million years ago. Half three million years ago. Half the five hundred thousand years ago. You know, and that led me to understand that the government agencies basically are not telling the truth. Then I went to researchers and they was conflicting. Okay, thirty thousand years. Eighty thousand years. Eighty years. And I said something's going wrong. Oh, I found out that those particular researchers was receiving grants from the United States federal government to confuse you. I'm independent. What that means, I do not receive grants from the federal government or corporations, and I'm alternative, meaning I've studied alternative subjects that's outside the norm that people could care less about, but they are very critical and important to understand your life here on planet Earth. And the timeline to we are in. I'm a professional researcher. We are going to be in the time of the day of Noah at 90 degrees. And this Earth does not cross the orbit of the planetary system. That's going to block out the sun for three days. Yeah. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not. There's another Bible perspective, biblical. So if you spend hundreds and hundreds of hours, you can get this information and you can grab it out of thin air. And it's right there. And if you want to put up a comment, go ahead. I suggest you be very, very respectable. So I'm taking you here to the 40 degree mark which we will be by 2023. Ah, oh, there's that number again, right? Now I'm gonna take you here, where we are now, and where we're gonna be, right there, by August, 37 degrees. This is when the planet will become extremely unstable. If you remember what happened right after 36 degrees, 500% increase in earthquakes, right? So what do you think it's going to take place when we hit 37 degrees? I believe we are going to see more than likely 50 to 100%. Because how can you put all of this up on the earthquakes that are taking place now at 500%? That's totally crazy, but it's possible because I do not have enough data to put into my quantum computer system, okay? Neither does the federal government or other governments around the world because we just discovered the light bulb last week. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. You tell me what is going on. I've been keeping up with these earthquakes since 2012 when I started my research on the magnetic reversal process. Look at this. Look at it. I have never seen anything like this, and neither have you. Look what's taking place. It's truly amazing when I can reflect back on the years that I have researched and knew all of this was coming eight years ago. But look at it. 
the evidence is before you. The Heavenly Father has given us the signs. The bridge is out three miles down. The bridge is out two miles down. The bridge is out one mile down. And the bridge is out completely. The Heavenly Father has done everything that He could do to warn us about these signs. Earthquakes in diverse places. Remember reading that? Look at it. The evidence is there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to take you here. This is Jupiter going into the womb of Virgo. That happens every 3,000 years. And Mercury, Venus, and Mars goes into the constellation of Leo every 5,000 years. And a great sign appeared in the heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. And upon her head was 12 crowns of stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pains. That's Revelation 12, ladies and gentlemen. And there you have it. They went 7,000 years in the past and never occurred before. Not all of it at the same time. And they went 7,000 years in the future. It's just not there. This seems to be the time that Apostle John was warning us about. The moon's out of feet, clothed in the sun. Jupiter in her womb. The 12 tribes of Israel deals with the 12 stars of the 12 apostles. Pick one because it doesn't give you enough information. And then if you look at the Jubilees, which is every 50 years, it's all there. And this came from the sign, which, you know, was a presentation. <laughs> and uh, Paul Begley was there. Wow, I wish I could have been there to see it. But if you look at every aspect of life on this beautiful, beautiful planet that the Heavenly Father has given us, it's truly amazing. But it's also sad what is taking place right now. We are on the edge of nuclear war. We are on the edge of a super X-class flare. And the Trojans are coming. You know why? Because that little bitty planet belongs to a solar system that belongs to the Milky Way galaxy. It's 500 billion solar systems in one galaxy, ladies and gentlemen, with 7 trillion galaxies that the Heavenly Father created and it's still expanding and if you look at the Milky Way galaxy that's it in the background it's a spiral we are moving at 400 miles per hour we are moving through the galaxy and our galaxy is moving. So we are going to witness some extraordinary events of planetary systems, road planets. And they always do not come in at a 30 degree elliptical orbit. They can come downward too or upward. So it's truly amazing that we're moving at 400,000 miles per hour. And the planetary system is in a 30 degree elliptical orbit and it's coming in. And the closer it gets, it will speed up. The closer it gets to the sun, it will speed up. So it will increase its speed to orbit around the sun and go back out and it won't come back for another 3,600 years. And the thing about all of this is our solar system tilted six degrees back in August of 2018. The sun, our planet, 
the whole solar system tilted six degrees. Well, where and how can you validate that? With the water from South America, Brazil, Uruguay, the water received out into the Atlantic Ocean slowly. It did not come back for a number of hours and people thought it was a tsunami. And when it came back slowly, 36 hours, it was on the Pacific side. They received 30 foot waves in Argentina and Chile and there was no storm or earthquake at the time. And it happened approximately eight times with the water, even in the Gulf of Mexico, did the same thing. The water went out, they thought it was a tsunami, and the government said, don't worry, be happy. It was the hurricane sucking water from the Gulf of Mexico. Now it was alive too. You see all of those stars, they're not stars. Those are galaxies, ladies and gentlemen. Seven trillion galaxies. It's totally amazing when you can wrap your head around everything that I gave you in this video. But we're not done yet. Okay? We're not done. And I'm going to explain why. And I want you to hear me out. Now we're going to change. And I'm going to give you a different perspective. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to come upon you like a thief in the night. And time is running out. Time is speeding up. Time for his return. The purpose of this channel is to give people the information so they can prepare or they can prepare spiritually. It's truly amazing that the Heavenly Father has gave us all of these signs and people are starting to look. People are starting to wake up. What's going on? What's going to happen? There's too much going on. There's too much happening. Right? I'm so grateful for the mature souls on this channel that has received and has acknowledged that it's time for us to go home. It's time for us to get the message out. To help people understand time is running out. Time for his return. Tell them. People are going to be shocked. All the way around the world. They're going to be shocked. And if they don't have their ticket, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be too late. And people are going to fear. And people are going to say, look, 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 look up there. And they're going to be shocked. And they're going to be amazed. When the angels appear in the clouds. And if they don't have their ticket, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be too late. The Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ has done everything they could possibly do to warn people. It's coming. The light is coming, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be truly amazing... Because we have our ticket and we are going to go home and unfortunately a lot of people are not going to make it a lot of people are going to be shocked when they see cross coming in the clouds in the final moment and people are going to be amazed why is this not happening to me? Why is these people receiving this light? And if I touch it, it will shock me. Why? Here it is. And the Son of Man will appear in the sky and mourn. And the Son of Man is coming in the clouds with great power, with his angels and a loud trumpet, and gather his elect 
from the four winds upon the earth. Amazing. But our citizenship is in heaven. And we are eagerly waiting to go home. To transform our lower bodies. So we can go home. It's not going to be any more tears. You're not going to have any more body aches. You're not. There's no tears in heaven, ladies and gentlemen. But only joy, happiness, understanding, and a transformation that you will realize all of these events had to take place. It's the end of age. Don't hold on to a false illusion of hope. Don't, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the times, the timelines, the 26,000 year cycle, the magnetic reversal process, the planetary system, and the book of Revelation, the biblical perspective. It's amazing once you understand all of these timelines are connected, and it's not coincidence. No, sir. No, ma'am. It's not. Look up. Look up. And be prepared. In a moment, in a twinkle of the eye, we will be spiritually teleported out of this dimension. You know, some people call it the rapture. If you study that term, it deals with spiritual teleporting out of this dimension related to the soul. People are going to be shocked. Some of the people on this channel that that's comes here for the earthquakes, I don't want to hear your biblical perspective about Jesus. I just hear for the volcanic activity and the magnetic reversals. Okay, that's okay. We still love you. Jesus Christ still loves you. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, you have always been loved, and you will always be loved. And and if you and if you fell away from Christ Jesus and the Heavenly Father, it's very simple to return, repent, confess, and prayer, and receive your redemption through your conviction, through the wonderful, beautiful Son of our Heavenly Father Jesus Christ, Yahshua, because. It's very easy to return because you've been paid for. And those who have not been paid for, it's not too late. It's not too late. Well, yes, we're in the last days. The end of age. But it's not too late. It's not too late, ladies and gentlemen, to come to Jesus Christ and the Heavenly Father before it's too late. And I cannot put enough emphasis because we are going to be spiritually teleported out of this dimension and we are going home and we should be rejoicing. I rejoice every day because I was told when I get there, I'm going to meet significant people from this channel. I love you all, ladies and gentlemen. Please continue in prayer and be strong. Why? Because soon we are going home. Much love with many blessings. And God bless always.